Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In last video, we have seen that to create the storage account and the container and we uploaded the file. In this video, we will see how to download the file from Azure Storage. So here we are going to create console application. Let's create a new. So this is Visual Studio 2022 and then click on create new project and then I will select that console so if you are not able to find that console application then you can search it from here console so it will come on the top and we are gonna create that in the C sharp just click on it and then click on next so you can give any name of this project name I am keeping it as it is just click on next and then it is .NET 6.0 and click on create let's wait for a couple of minutes it is opening it and it is creating the project basically so now we have the project okay so now just click here and create the let's say a new class and we'll write the method into the class and then class name is let's say it's your is storage download okay click on add here we will so for the interest of time i already have this uh, created that the program of downloading the block from there so just go to this and i will explain each and every line what is the mean of that line just copy paste here and make it instead of internal public and then it is it should be the method just create the method first Pub pro public void download file and then put it okay put the method here okay and then I believe one back is required so it is a sync so that means we need to create a sync and then task and then see what is happening here so first of all the container name we need to put here so let's quickly go to the Azure account and see what we have here you can see this storage account we have created and in the storage account we have this uh let's open this log services and then we can see that we have created the files right so we have put it in the container name this is the container name and the connection string from where we can find that connection string let's go to this storage account and go to the access keys and here we have key one and key two so this is the connection string so we can connect with the uh, use of key as well so here we are using connection string just click on show and just copy to the clipboard and then come back here and paste it here so now we have the connection string and now we need to create the blob service client so you can see that it is showing some uh, error so just control and dot so it will show you what all uh, service is required or the name space it is asking for so the name space basically it is blob so if you come back on this program you can see that as your blog is totally required right so here go to the solution and right click here and manage go to the browse and then 
install that azure dot storage dot blog okay so just click here and install it okay accept okay it is saying because that is having some error on my program and just click here and let's click control dot and then you can see that it is coming here so let right click here and remove and sort using so it will remove all the unused namespace from my program and then here we are creating the client and passing the connection string and then once we have the connection string then we are connecting the connection with the container so here we are passing the container and now we are going to so it is not required let's remove everything which is not required let's so I'm going to create this file into other directory. So it is just uh, creating the directory and we are keeping this uh, in the download folder. So in the current directory where the program is running, you can give any path to download the file. And then we are creating this path so that it will generate the directory. And then here we are fetching all the blocks with the from the container so we have a container here and we are fetching all the blocks so you can see that we get all blocks here and we are using for each in the blocks let's say if we have multiple files so for that we are using block items so if you just take your cursor on the block you, you will see that blob is there as your dot storage dot blobs dot model dot blob item so we need to troubleshoot trouble or iterate with blob item and then here with the blob dot name we can get the name of the blob and we are giving the path to download so it is complete path where we need the file the path and the file name and then we are using the blob container client then get blob client so here we are giving the blob or getting the blob from the azure the, from the container specifically and then we are using download to async with this file path let's quickly run and then see whether it is doing the proper downloading or not just click on console app and then let's wait for running the program let's wait for few minutes Let's close boot and then try to run this one. Okay, so we are not so we have written this method, but we are not calling anywhere. So let's call in the main method. So here we are writing hello. So this is sample boot. So here we are we need to create an object. Let's say it's your download then this one it, it is asking for then again control dot and then using namespace we need to use it here and then call the method that that is download now run it
Let's wait for some time. So now we are jumping on the code. Let's run it. Here we get this connection. This is true. And then here we are getting the connection with the container. This is also true. And then we are given the path where the file needs to be downloaded. Just copy this path for some time or you don't require it. I will show you how we can directly jump on the file. Let's go to the blocks and then see whether we are getting the blocks or not. So here, so not use this one, so, but yes, it is having something. And let's travel or iterate with this blob item and let's see the file name is there test dot test data dot txt which was there earlier so now connect with the blob and then try to download with the file name let's let's quickly execute it so it executed successfully let's go right click here and go to open container folders and go to the bin, go to debug, yeah. go to this folder. You can see that so it is asking for current directory. So here download folder, let's open this file, let's click here. So, so we can see that the file downloaded but it didn't have the data. Let's quickly go to the programs and you can see that it is asking for this await and use await here and then the, this error is gone let's quickly run it this program again see if the program was just fine automatically when we run the program and now go and go to the sign go, go just go to the file and wait and then continue let's go to this Go here, open explorer, and then file, and now we have the data. So earlier the mistake was, so we are not calling a bit. So the function is running without having the data. So please keep it the await while calling it in the program.cs file then on the, the file will be there with the data so that's it from this video thank you for watching